Hi all. I've got a small form computer here that I'm going to replace the battery in. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing a video on this, but uh, it was so hard to get at, I thought uh, it might come in handy for some people. So it's a normal battery. It's just a normal watch battery. CR2032. So I went to the store and bought them. That's the way it came. So these are marked DLs. So that's a CR. So it says here on the back. So it says here on the back, a DL2032 or CR2032, okay? Okay, so, uh, let's see if I can get you closer. So, it was a little... Okay, so uh, it was a little tricky getting out. There's a little piece of metal here. You have to push that back. A little tab sticking up. You just push that back a little bit. And then the battery pops up. You can see there's this, there's this springy thing here. Okay, so I think I, uh, I think after I pushed that thing back, after I pushed that little tab back, the battery popped up a little bit. I still had to get down in there, pry it up a little bit. Then I reached in there, pair of tweezers, big pair of tweezers. These tweezers are from a computer repair kit. I put tape around them so I don't get shocked, just in case, you know. Okay, so now, let's see if we can get one of these in there. This uh, four pack was 10 bucks, 9.98. So they really got these things sealed up here. I guess it just, I guess it doesn't just pop out anymore. I'm trying trying not to destroy the package. I've never seen this before. Being all packed up like that. There's a piece of plastic on the bottom too. It looks like that's a vacuum seal in there. Doesn't just pop out. Okay, so it looks like that's vacuum seal in there. That's just not going to slide out of there. So. Okay, so it's got a little piece of paper here. You have to pull that off. Okay, so that's the top plus sign goes up. Make sure you don't have no static, you know.
Okay, so that's all there is to it. What's nice to do is uh, go over to Dollar Store and get yourself a pair of magnifying glasses. These are 2.0 and it just helps you see into small areas. Okay, so this has got to go down. I've got this taped up so it won't fall. This, this little clip comes up. That little clip comes up. <coughs> And holds that down and uh, I just had to unplug one item blue cable there's no way to get that wrong because the cable is so stiff but blue cable went on that side I'm not used to working on these real small ones Don't use magnetic screwdrivers on a computer because they'll short out the motherboard. Okay, so that's all. There's the RAM. There's two sticks of RAM. Just with, when you put new RAM in, just make sure it's pushed down all the way. If it's not pushed down all the way, it might still work. It'll uh, working sooner than it's supposed to okay so now I get, just got to put the hard drive back in and uh, that just kind of snapped in place here don't really remember myself let's see here so uh, that just kind of snapped in place here there's a Tab here, tab on this side, it goes down inside these slots. Okay. So that's all there is to that. I thought it snapped in place. May maybe not. Okay, so this is a Dell. Optiplex 790 small it's a small computer I think they call it a SFF small frame the top just screws on let's see that should just uh, Drop down in place here. The screw goes in the back. This screw here. That goes in that little hole there. So there's these uh, little clips here on both sides. Those fall down into these holes. I'm holding it down here, then push it forward. And it's nice tight fit here. Through this. This is a lock. You, you can put a chain and lock and lock it to a desk you know, for like a business. They don't want people just to be able to pick it up and carry it away.
this, I, I just happened to notice this. This, this is just an informational card. Pulls out of here. It's got the uh, uh, Windows 7 authorization number on it. Product key. And then this just kind of slides on. Let's see here. These would go in first. Like that. There's little slots down here. kind of popped off when I was working on it. I, I didn't expect to have to take the front off. So that might have to go on. Well, let's see here. Okay, I think we got it. There's four clips here. Those go in there. And then this just kind of slides in place. Okay, so that's all there is to it. I'll plug it in, we'll see if it works. Okay, so I got it plugged in. Let's start it up, see if it comes on here. No beeps is a good sign. If you get some beeps, those are error messages. Beep codes. Every manufacturer is different. So as you look up your beep codes online. So this is the error that I kept getting. I'm hoping the battery takes care of that. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and do F5 here, see what happens. So I'm just going to go ahead and set the date and time. Looks like it's correct. Okay, so let's turn it off, see if that error message goes away.
Okay, so it looks like that new battery got rid of that error message. Usually when the battery goes bad, it doesn't save the uh, clock settings. But uh, I was getting that error and it was saving the clock settings. So. Okay, let's try it one, one more time. Shut down. Okay, that's what I was hoping for. It uh, got rid of that error message. Okay, see ya. Bye.